Lions Den powered by KCB Bank Next in the den is Javan Okello and his African storytelling platform Hi I'm Javan Okello with a background in business administration As I grew up one thing struck me where I was the Cinderella and the Mickey Mouse of Africa. What had happened to the stories that we used to listen to? These questions led to the birth of Dream Africa. Dream Africa is the modern digital fireplace where families can access stories and animations that are African themed. So as Dream Africa, we distribute stories from established publishers as well as independent content creators and we are also working on our own original content in house as we strive to be the disney of africa we need about 20 million kenya shillings that sounds like a staggering amount of money but seeing the networks and the net worth of the lion that are before me i would request for 7 million kenya shillings in exchange we are offering to the lions a 15% equity share. A platform that promotes African heritage. Will this interest our entertainment guru, Mike Raba? Joel, I must say kudos to what you're putting together. I personally involved in a similar project, so I can't partake in this one, unfortunately. Yeah? So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. Mike Raba sees a conflict of interest with his existing businesses and declares himself out. How will the remaining lions respond? How is this different to the existing content, the existing businesses. Yeah, I acknowledge that there are many other alternatives and competitors, but ours are specific to children, and then they are multicultural, then they are multilingual. Is this an existing business? Yes, it is existing business. In the United States, it has been there for three years now, but in Kenya, we launched it in April this year. So are you one of the founders? I'm one of the directors, but not the founders. Thank you. Um, I'm really excited about what what you're doing. I think it's definitely a need uh, to collate these stories, to make them accessible. I actually know the co-founder quite well, so yeah. I'll have to be out on this one. Thank you. Thank you. A stickler to the rules, Wandia also declares herself out, having had previous dealings with the co-founders. Our entrepreneur must now turn his attention to the three remaining lions. So what do you need the seven million for? For content creation. When I look at Africa, we've not heard of a story for like Luanda Magere, we've not had a story of Wangwa Makere, we've not had a story about our different communities that will teach us our values and give us a sense of identity. And so if we are to roll out on the process of content creation, it's the most expensive part. What is your projection for 2017? We are planning to have at least 10,000 subscribers. Each subscriber will pay on a monthly basis uh, 5.9 US dollars every month. We estimated that the cost of acquisition is three US dollars per individual subscriber. So we estimate to have around 2.9 US dollars on profit per subscriber. So we want to have this application in airlines so that when children are traveling maybe from US to Kenya, they can have uh, something engaging them. Okay. To monetize this in a scalable way is a long journey, uh, a journey that needs a lot of skills. And I think you really need somebody to delve into your business. And an ideal person would be a person who has industry-specific knowledge, as well as strong commercial knowledge. Um, and for that reason, I just don't see that I will bring everything you need to the business per se. So unfortunately, I'm out, but I wish you all the best. I look forward to when I have my kids, them watching your platform and you know your content you know on on a plane sometime you know with dashin chandaria also declaring himself out will our publishing expert olive gashara see the potential in the african children's story platform i think focus a bit more on being an online newsstand as opposed to being a content creator because being a content creator is a whole other different business altogether and i'm not sure that's what your founders had in mind when they were putting together dream africa um so for now, I'm not sure I'd be able to assist on that, on that front, so I'd have to say I'm out.
Sorry, I don't have enough specific um, industry knowledge to be able to add the value that you need. Um, I think to have African stories published by an African platform and put on all the media is really exciting and great. Thank you. I just think that we don't have what it takes for you at this point. Yes. But good luck yeah. and good speed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. All the best. That's fantastic. Despite the lion's enthusiasm and industry similarities, surprisingly, they all bow out and our entrepreneur walks away without an investment. I found it disappointing that because uh, one of the, the lions was, we thought we'd partner together in, so that instead of being competitors, we could be partners, you know, the, the market will be hotly contested and it's good to have partners than competitors. Mike, I thought that was one for you. We're doing it. You're doing it? Mm, it's a lot of cash, eh? No, these guys, I think they should focus on being a newsstand because then even whatever Mike is doing, they can publish on their platform. It's just so much easier than trying to get into content. Lions Den, powered by KCB Bank.